race issues and racism right. and how that is still so relevant in today's world. It's so important for a black woman, a white woman, for us to be talking about things like this because you and I have been best friends now for what? What's going on? Four years? Four years. Yeah. And we, we grew up in a generation where we don't really see, see color it. anymore. Mm -hmm. It's not a thing. Um, you, we are both dating men from different countries, right. both interracial relationships. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not a problem for us. Does society still see it as a problem? The or hard, as a thing? You know what I'm saying? The hard truth. Yeah, because that's fence. what we're here for. <laughs> right. we're, we're here for the hard truth. The real. I'm on the fence. Yeah. I think that society still questions and ponders about the relationship because mm -hmm. they don't understand it. Okay. They might not understand like, hmm, how can this white woman be with this black man and they'll look at Noel and think he's African American. <laughs> right, that's true. That's very true because yeah, because Noel is Haitian. Is Haitian. And we both speak French. Right. I'm French. Right. They would So they don't even know that all of that right. just by exactly. looking at us. Exactly. Right. They would never take that into consideration. Right. It always goes directly to the negative. And oh, that's interesting that you say that. I think that society has a lot of involve, uh, evolving to do. Mm. Have we come far? Yes. It is something that has come to light now, but it's been something that's been going oh, on for years. That's a good point. It's been something It's just that now surfacing the media. Just now. But it's been happening this whole time. It's been happening right. this whole time. Um, and it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that you can get pulled over and because of a preconceived notion mm. about your people or your color, mm -hmm. there's already guards up on how they should approach you. Again, like right. I stated, and I think this is a very important factor, they don't approach us as if, you know, you know, this person may be educated. Or this they're, person or they're innocent from, in anything. Or they're innocent. You're or, already being approached because you did something wrong. Wrong, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, instead of giving you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. And we're programmed to be so filtered. Mm -hmm that we can't express our true feelings, especially as a black woman. Yeah. Because I will come off as an angry black woman. And then Gabrielle people, says that. Exactly. Yep. Yep. People will start to kind of tune you out. Right. Instead of understanding that emotion that you're going through. Yeah. Understanding that gut riching hurt that right. you have because Which could be the same in. as a white woman. Exactly. But why is yours different? And why is mine's different? And those are things that you just don't question anymore because you'll drive yourself insane. Mm, I you see. can't control with You're just people. tired. You're, you get tired of yeah. it. You get tired of yeah. being on that hamster wheel and trying to prove who you are right. to people who don't necessarily matter.